This video is brought to you by AE Juice. Get ready to use professional and easy to use transitions and presets, glitch animated background, logo reveal, text animation, different smooth transitions, trailer titles and many more. You can get them individually or you can get it in a bundle. It's also available for Premiere Pro and After Effects. Check out the first link in the description. Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. In this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the media file, which I will be using in this intro. You can download these media files from the below link in the description. The complete After Effects template is also available on my web store. Check out the first link in the description. Now let's see how to create this intro. First we will create the title composition, then media composition end title composition and final intro composition. Let's create our first title composition. For this composition set time duration to just one second, remaining everything will be same. Now let's add the text. For this text layer, here I will be using objective font family. Font style to regular, Set paragraph alignment to center. Align text to center. Reduce the font size. Increase the tracking amount for the text layer. Set it to near about 700 to 800. Now let's animate the text layer. In animate, select the opacity, set opacity to 0%. Now in range selector, at start of the timeline, create keyframe for offset. Set it to minus 100%. Now at near about 20 frames, set offset to 100%. In advance, change shape to ramp up. Set easy low to 100%. Our main title is ready, now let's create duplicate of this text layer to create subtext. Change the text. Now place it below. Here you can arrange both the text layer to bring them to the center. Here if you want you can reduce the scale value for the subtext. Place this subtext at distance of 2 frames. Our main title is ready. Now let's create a new composition. Name it as media. For this media composition, I will set time duration to 2 seconds. Now let's create 17 duplicates of this media composition. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicates. Perfect. Now we will add media file to each composition individually. Here you need to scale the media file if needed. Here I will scale my media file. Do the same for all the 17 media compositions, here I will fast forward this part.
perfect. Now let's close all the media compositions. Let's create a new composition. Name it as end title. For this composition. Set time duration to 3 seconds. Now let's add the text. For this text, set font style to black. Set tracking to 0. Let's increase the font size. Make sure the outline is enabled for the text layer. Perfect. Now let's create duplicate of the text layer. Place the subtext below the main text. Now change the text. Change both text layers to 3D. For main text layer. From animate, select fill color opacity. Set fill opacity to 0%. Let's remove this range selector we don't need it. For animator 1, let's add, select a wiggly. In Wiggle Selector, set Wiggles per second to 25. Set Correlation to 0%. Now go at 5 frames, create keyframe for minutes amount. Change amount to 100%. Now go at 10 frames, set amount to 0%. Now at 15 frames, set amount to 100%. Now at 20 frames, set amount to 0%. Now at 20 frames, create keyframe for max amount. Now at 1 second, change max amount to 0. You can see the preview. Select all keyframes, change keyframe to toggle hold keyframe. You can see the preview. For text layer. From animate, select opacity. Set opacity to 0%. In range selector, at start of the timer line, create keyframe for offset. Now go at about 15 frames. Change offset to 100%. You can see the preview. Now for text layer, press P to bring up position. Now at 1 seconds and 10 frames, create keyframe for position, now at start of the timer line, decrease the Z, position value as shown. You can see the preview. Perfect. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. Now for subtext. Press P to bring up position. Now at 1 second and 10 frames, create keyframe for position. Now at start of the timer line, reduce the Z position value as shown. Perfect. Now for text layer. From Animate, select Scale, set Scale to 0%. In Range Selector, at 10 frames, create keyframe for Offset. Now at 1 second, change Offset to 100%. In More option, set Y Grouping Alignment to minus 50%. You can see the preview. For subtext layer, press P to bring up position, select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust speed graph as shown. Perfect. 
Now let's create our final composition, I will name it as intro. Set time duration to 8 seconds. Now here we will add all the composition to the timeline one by one, you can also add all the composition at once, and later arrange them. Here I will add the title composition. Now select all media compositions, add it to the timeline. Now add the end title composition to the timeline. Place the end title composition at the end. Now for media composition. Press S to bring up scale. Now at one second, create keyframe for scale. At start of the timeline, change scale to 200%. Now select keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease, now adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. Now we will copy this scale keyframe and paste it over all the media composition. Perfect. Now we will arrange them, we will place each media composition at distance of 20 frames from each other. Arrange them as shown. Now place remaining composition at 5 frames or at distance of 2 to 3 frames. Here you can see the preview. Here you are free to arrange the media compositions to increase or decrease the reveal speed. Perfect. Now let's animate the title composition, press S to bring up scale, at start, create keyframe for scale, now at 1 second, change scale to, 40%, select created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease, now adjust the speed graph as shown. Now let's add some middle titles. Add the text. Place it at center. Change font style to light. Align to center. Now press S to bring up scale, at one second. Create keyframe for scale, now at start of the timeline, change scale to, 250%. You can see the preview. Here position the anchor point to the center, while pressing Y key on your keyboard, select anchor point and place it at center of the text. Now select keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease, now adjust the speed graph as shown. Let's trim the text layer for one second. Now in effects and preset, search for drop shadow, 
Add it to the text layers. Set opacity to 100%, set distance to 15, softness to 15. Perfect. Now place this text layer over first media composition at 1 second. Now create duplicate of the text layer. Place it above second media composition. Change the text. Now again create duplicate. Place it over third media composition. Change the text. Now again create duplicate. Place it over fourth media composition. Change text. Again create duplicate of text. Place it above two to three compositions. Change the text. Now for end title composition, press S to bring up scale. Now at near about 5 second and 10 frames, create keyframe for scale, change scale to 120%. Now at 7 seconds, change scale to 100%. You can see the preview. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. Now in effects and preset. Search for motion tile. Add it to the adjustment layer. Change output width to 400. Height to 800. Select mirror edges. Now in effects and preset, search for transform. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now at near about 6 seconds and 15 frames. Create keyframe for scale. Now at end of the timeline. Change scale to 15. Here you can adjust the media composition position. For adjustment layer. Adjust the motion tile output width. Now on the motion blur for adjustment layer, title and media composition. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Here our stomp intro is created. Thank you guys for watching this video. See you in next week with another awesome tutorial.